Sometimes you want to take the pulse of a given industry. You need to go off the tape and listen to what some privately held companies have to say because they might have insights that the publicly traded players, which are normally our stock in trade here made money, just don't have. Consider the market for alcohol, which many people consider a real staple of a healthy diet. Over the last decade, we've seen hard liquor take tons of share from beer, and tequila in particular has become increasingly popular worldwide to the point where there's actually, it's amazing, I didn't know this, serious shortages in the blue agave, the plant that tequila is made from. In the last couple of years, the price of agave has increased more than fivefold. There's awesome demand for a once to ride a drink, and one company's riding this way better than all all the others. That's why tonight we want to check in with Tequila Avion. It's the maker of the fastest growing ultra premium tequila. It's up 103% this past fiscal year in sales. And it doubled the year before. The last time we spoke to Ken Austin, two years ago, they were the number seven tequila. Now they're number two or three or in a lot of the markets. The company may not be publicly traded, but these guys know the market better than anyone. So let's take a closer look with Ken Austin, the chairman and co-founder of Tequila Avion. Find out more about his company and the broader tequila market. Ken, how are you? Great, Jim. Nice to see you. I got a little cocktail oh, for you. Well, thank you. And I'm glad I don't like to drink alone. Cheers. And Cheers, what exactly are we uh, drinking here, Ken? This is actually called El Kramer Loco. Loco being the keyword for you, as we true, all know. True, true. Uh, which has some very special ingredients, but of and, course it starts with Avion. Okay, what else? For starters. Uh, Avion silver. Uh, we have a little bit of agave nectar. Oh my God, this is good. Fresh lime juice. A uh, little orange liqueur and a special loco ingredient that I cannot describe. No, you're going to have to. I'll tell you why. Sit down, because in another uh, three weeks, I'm opening a Mexican restaurant in Brooklyn. You didn't know that. I, I do not. Well, <laughs> nice to meet you, customer. <laughs> Game on. Bar San Miguel. I'm not kidding. I make service. It's real good. <laughs> I, I, I want to give... I'm not kidding. No, I had to surprise you with that. I, okay, I, just, I, I do want to tell you one thing about this drink. If you don't use Avion in it in your bar that you open, 10 years, bear market. So well, just understand, right, must be I'm going to get struck by lightning or something. All right, let's get into this, because one of the things that's happened, and one of the reasons why I'm actually, I did want to surprise you doing this restaurant, is because I have a bead on, I have a house in Mexico. I'm mm -hmm. not going to say where, because it's, you know, confidential. But one thing is really clear to me. Your success. Your success has told me that this is the liquor to serve, and the way you're marketing it is very different from the way it is. And I just want you to just, it's a private company. I rare, rarely ever do this. You've been a very successful man in this, and I want you to tell people because I want other people to be as successful as you are. Well, I, you know, it really, wow, this is, that's an interesting question. You're I mean, it, you know, I just you know, want this. This is the way I feel about your business. Uh, I love it. Thank you. I mean, really with Avion, it was for me, it was a dream of mine. Okay. Um, and it was something where most people would tell you, in this business, this is a business of titans, as most people know. Yes. Giant companies. I never want to go in against the people you're up against. Tough, tough business. And I say, there's a target on the back of your head every single day in this business. And most people said to me, you're crazy. Why would you do this? Um, and it really comes down to that entrepreneurial spirit that people talk about. Never giving up going to Mexico sight unseen, everyone slamming doors in my face, and basically saying, I am going to create the greatest tequila in the world. I'm not going to cut costs. I'm not going to cut corners. I'm going to believe in what I'm doing and make it happen. Okay, and two things. One, how did you know that tequila would take off the way it did, and especially in the last four years? And two, how did you know that there was a reason for premium tequila? Because other than in Mexico, people think Padron's tequila, te premium tequila. People think Dragonis. But in reality, Dragonis way too expensive. P Padron, not that, spe not that special. Uh, no comment. Um, well, but, I, look, uh, I like Padron, but I'm uh, just saying. Great, great brand. I'm great just brand. saying that there are, you know, you go into single malt scotch versus scotch. You go into blend versus high end blend. I'm just saying that Padron's a very good brand, but you went for an end that no one had. Yeah, we really, you know, the goal was to actually create something very, very special. And as I said, not cut corners where lots of companies, when they get big, are forced to cut corners or based on an accountant being in the room saying, slice, dice, do what you have to do. With this brand, for me, because it was a dream of mine, I said, look, there's an opportunity in this category where there's a clear number one in the space. You mentioned it. Right. There's no clear number two. There's a number two, Don Julio, made by Cuervo right. and Diageo. Good for now. Um, and uh, uh, biggest brand in the world being Cuervo. But that right. said, there's no clear number two. But, but without Entourage, this couldn't have happened. And you didn't engineer Entourage. Uh, no, Entourage happened just out of a friendship between myself, my partner, Kenny Dicker, and Doug Ellen, all being friends. Right. Uh, but that said. And that's what you mentioned in a very prominent HBO show that was a big hit. Huge. I mean, it was huge for us. It was a game changer. But the fact is, the, the, the show's off the air. The sales have gone accelerated. That's what I'm so curious about. Yeah, well, you know what? The show is great, but on, on the other side of the spectrum, people didn't know Avion was real. People right. actually thought it was made for TV tequila and didn't understand I was working on it for years to create the greatest tequila in the world. In 2012, Avion was, was voted world's best tequila 
and best white spirit in the world at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. So you talk about this entourage moment that happened for us. Right. On the other side, the mixology, the experts in the drinks business said right. this was the best. So we converge quality met lifestyle, which is very rarely seen. Right. That's why the brand is accelerating Okay, can now. the brand take off? I, tequila, very small in the United States versus the rest of the world. Can it take off in the rest of the world? Well, tequila is, tequila is huge in the U.S. No, but I'm saying, um, you know, I'm saying oh, Russia, the spirits China, world. We're absolutely. 7% of the entire spirits world. There's 93% of the people who drink alcohol not in this country. Right. I'm saying, will they be drinking this? Oh, it's coming in a big way. I mean, I was actually telling someone today who was Russian, in Russia, younger people are drinking tequila than not drinking the vodka that their father drank. Yeah, see, this if, you, is if you go to Mexico, it's an amazing thing to see that people, younger people, while they're drinking tequila, they're also drinking Jameson whiskey. Right. Um, because they're not you've drinking what they're got a great recipe for both, and mixologists love that. I've actually looked into it, believe it or not, as part of my due diligence. A absolutely. It's a great cocktail. But anyway, I want yeah. to toast you and your success. Again, if you were a public company, we would have a different discussion, because I would have to be about why did you, what happened this quarter and why did you... But I like people who are successful, and sometimes you just want to, in a, in a country that, is, that I find is corrosive to the point where you don't even want to start a business, I salute you. Thank you. And Jim, I got something very special for yeah. you. Yeah. Avion Reserva 44. That this is could the, be the 42 that I like at home. Avion Reserva 44, we're launching tomorrow, and I have a special bottle. This could be the most coveted bottle of tequila in the world. It's the Jim Cramer oh my God. <laughs> Avion Reserva 44, the finest tequila in the world, in a crystal bottle. And if I see it on eBay and it doesn't go to your charitable trust, we got a problem. Won't happen. <laughs> Ken Austin, he's the chairman and co-founder of Tequila Avion. Have one on me. Stay with Kramer. It.